will get good reasoning. The reasoning is, so the very famous hadith which is Muttafaq alayhi, which says there are five things only obligatory. Even what is talking is about, is about Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, it says that yeah. out of the, there are five pillars of Islam. Yeah, five pillars of Whose object, did I have an object to that brother? Do you mean to say anything? Yeah, it, it would have been introduced there as oh. the sixth one, okay. yeah, like jihad. Very good. Have been introduced okay. The brother is saying that if you do these five things, you go to Jannah, correct? No, it is what is compulsory when I'm asking you a question. Class. I'm asking you a question. If you do these five things, you go to Jannah, correct? If you have to heal, no, no, you be one. The question was not asked like that. Professor Asalam said, What are the five things compulsory? Somebody questioned him. Then he said, These are the five things compulsory. Not like that. He it said, is. These five things are the pillars. I'm misquoting the Hadith. Yeah, I'm quoting, of. it is mentioned, These are the pillars of Islam. Pillars of it's not five compulsory things. These are compulsory, pillars, but yes. these are pillars. These are not the only five things. There are other things. There are many other things with the compulsory brother. If you quote half the hadith, that's the problem we have. He said these are the pillars and remember brother, pillar is not the complete building. You can ask any engineer out here, yes. pillar is not the building. Pillar is the base, it's the foundation. The structure is different, the walls are there. But if the pillars are strong, inshallah the building will be strong. So if you are Tawheed, if you are Salah, if you are Zakah, if you are Soul, if you are Hajj, if you do all these five things correctly, inshallah you will be a good Muslim. Only these five things will not constitute Islam. Then what was the leader of the Quran? What was the no, leader of the Quran? Just we have to follow the Quran as a the, whole. I don't remember all the reasoning what the question is. So if you don't remember, brother, but there are several... Uh, brother, if you don't know the reasoning, Quran says, Qul Hasu Quran, I can your proof. In Kuzum Sadiqin, but it's a truthful. And remember, brother, you just don't say just because a particular mufti say you follow blindly. More mufti that say it is compulsory, even if you agree with that. Even if I agree with you that three, four mufti say it is not compulsory, there are multiple times more mufti who say it is compulsory. But we don't have to go, we have to read the Quran if you understand plainly. We keep, there are some verses, brother, upon the Quran, chapter number three, verse number seven, some verses are mockima. I established some of the they are doubtful. If it's a Mokima Thai, that it is full of Allah, there's one God. You don't have to go to any Mukti or report to any Hadith. It's clear cut. About Salah, it is clear cut in the Quran. You don't have to go to any Hadith. It's 100% clear cut. Why have to go? If there is a doubt, and remember, whichever verses of the Quran which are not well established, they are based on the other established verses of the Quran. Alhamdulillah. And Surah Al Asr is an established Surah of the Holy Quran. There's no doubt about it. So in the different opinions, there should not be any. It's compulsory. It's a far several verses. Not one verse, several verses of the Quran. And when Quran says that it is far no other hadith, no say hadith to contact the Quran. So that means you're misquoting the hadith. According in half or different context. Hope that answers the question. Yes, brother. Hello. Salaam alaikum, Mr. Jake. Wa alaikum as I am asking regarding the dawa. A person is reverting to Islam. Is it necessary to change his name? Whether the Quran from the Quran or from the Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah, he showed any authenticity that he must change his name. <coughs> because I have a question that if a person accepts Islam, a non Muslim, is it compulsory if there is a difference given the Quran and the Hadith that he should change his name? Behind the name, brother, it's not mentioned in the Quran. <coughs> but one thing is very important, brother. If the name, if the name deals with any shirk, for example, if the name is Ra, is dealing with shirk, Ram Das, then it is hundred percent compulsory, you should change it. If it does not deal with any shirk and if it has a good meaning, then no problem keeping it. But still, it is preferable, not a farad. It's preferable. You change so that you don't deceive the people. You understand? Otherwise, if it deals with shirk, like Ram Das, Rashman, etc., it's compulsory, you should change it. Other names, if the meaning is good, does not lead to shirk, still preferable, keep an Islamic name, so people realize they are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, I should be proud to call myself a Muslim. <laughs> Similarly, I was having an argument uh, with a non-Muslim lady who reverted to Islam. I should work because that because she married a Muslim boy, so I feel she converted for name's sake. So after they married, they came to me and she asked the same question, that it is compulsory. And then I gave a full lecture which I had given earlier in Jeddah, if the label shows your intent, wear it. That means, if you are proud to be a Muslim, then you should prove yourself. You should identify, wear the cap, so that people recognize you are a Muslim. For the people recognize you are a Muslim. And I gave all the logic, but she gave me the logic saying, 
that uh, see brother I have been called by the name of Rita I am using the name for 25 years Rita for 25 years I was called by the name of Rita and now you tell me to change my name <coughs> isn't it blind belief why should I change my name I said do you believe in Islam he said yes I knew it was only superficial the person who bought her the Muslim even he was a namesake Muslim he himself did not know what the principles of Islam were so I told you, I said, agree. I said, if you agree you are a Muslim, then for example, a doctor, how a doctor puts a cross in India or the other put a crescent. From Mr. he becomes the dear doctor. Why? He's proud to be a doctor. That means a medical degree is much more superior than any other bachelor degree. Therefore, he puts a doctor. He puts a cross on his car. To identify himself, so if you agree Islam is superior, don't you want to identify that you are a Muslim? For namesake, she said, I agree Islam is superior. But what's the need? For 25 years I have been called by Rita. So, so I asked her, the sister, what was the full name before marriage? So she said, Rita Shivasta Panduram. I said, not, now what's the present name? So she's saying, Rita Riyadh Sheikh. Riyadh was the husband's Sheikh. Husband's name. So I said, sister, isn't it illogical? For 25 years you are called Rita Panduram Shivasta. And now you are called Rita Dia Sheikh. Why? Why are you changing your name? Because previously she preferred identifying her, being identified as the daughter of Pandurang Shivastra. Now she prefers being, being identified as the wife of Riya Sheikh. So same way, because you think this is more important, so when you can change, for 25 years you were called by the name of Rita Pandurang Shivastra. Why did you change? So is it really logical? And she couldn't give me any answer. So the thing that you prefer, brother, you should make it open. But if you have any problem, brother, for example, if you are coming from, from, from an area where if people come to know that you change your name, it may be a threat to your life. In compulsion, Quran says in no less than four different places, in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 173, in Surah Maida chapter number 5, verse number 3, in Surah Anam chapter number 6, verse 145, and Surah Nahal chapter number 16, verse number 115, that if under compulsion, if you unwillingly disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is Rahman and Rahim. Means, if you are dying of hunger, hope becomes hard for you. So if you know if you change your name, it will be danger to your life. Even if your name is Ram, you can keep it. It will danger to your life. If it's not, then preferable, you should change it. If it is a shirk name, it's a fard, otherwise preferable. Hope that's the question. So, but you see, uh, while the Prophet Muhammad was in the same and all his companions, all they changed their name. That's right. Without that, when the Prophet got the message, and his beloved, all the companions, when they accepted the summary, they changed their name. Some companions which had a shirk in it, they did change. Very few. Which did that. Then Alhamdulillah. Because at that time it was Arabia, out there. And the name was easy, coming from the Arab origin. Now, you are getting a foreign name. If your name is Arabic, if you are a Christian Arab, and your name does not involve shirk, keep that name Alhamdulillah. Omar, you know Omar the name of Jews also? You know that? What? I have a Jewish friend whose name is Omar. At the beginning stage when you are giving Dawah in Newport, you are giving shock to the Of course, they agree that the same is there, uh, uh, partners with the God's name, the empire, you can eliminate it. But, we, it is necessary that the name is not there. That's what I told you, brother. It's not part of it at all. If it has a shirk name... When Dawah sometimes insists to change his name. See, therefore, it's not part. We have to follow the Quran and the Prophet's example, not what other people say, what the Sheikh says or the Mufti says. Therefore, I said, it is preferable. Why use the word preferable? So that you don't deceive the people. I didn't say it's a part. And Quran says in Surah Nahal chapter number 16, verse 150, don't make haram what Allah has made halal. And don't make haram what Allah has made haram. So even with all my logic, what Allah has made halal, I can't say, see, I'm a medical doctor, it becomes haram. And I can say that, see, if you are suffering from diabetes, for you, it is preferable that you don't have sugar. I can't say haram. But Allah has not made sugar haram, how can I as a doctor make? I can say, you should not have it. Because it's bad for your health. You understand, no? The same way, if it involves shirk, it becomes first, you change it, unless there is some compulsion, if your life is in danger. Otherwise, it's preferable. But if you still want to stick to it, it's, no one can force you to change your name, brother. Hope that's the question. I think we are... Uh